Um grande óculos. É? E o óculos, ele nem se vai. O Tereza. O Greg. Welcome, Greg. Please take a seat. Tereza, welcome to the NetBank Reality TSK series. Um, I was looking at you walking into the studio and I'm thinking, that walk must have been there when you scored 1995. Was it there? No, no, it wasn't there. Why? I, I mean, today it's more like a relaxed walk. You yeah. Know? Yeah, because I'm just coming here to chill and just chat to you about our life experiences in football. But yeah, the one that I had in Ivory Coast, yeah. that was a scary one. You have to jump all sorts of a, a, a moti yeah. before you get into the field. So it was a walk where you walk front, but you always check who's coming behind because you wouldn't trust everyone. Take me through that experience. I mean, I mean, we saw you play this team here, and then you had to go visit them in Ghana. Completely different. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, if I take you to the story, after we played a two-word draw yeah. at the FNP Stadium, you know, because when I joined Pirates, I, I started the competition in the quarterfinals because I was not eligible to play. You know, yeah. I joined Pirates 95, but guys that started the, uh, the pre preliminary rounds were those that were registered 94. Yeah. You know, so when I joined Pirates, I, I, I scored in each and every round that I played up to the final, you know, the first leg of the final. I couldn't score, but I'm proud because I, 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 I contributed to both goals. I had an assist to Elman Kelele yeah. in our first goal. Then I forced the corner that uh, uh, Innocent Mnongo took and Kevin Lane scored with the header. But as I drove home, you know, listening to a radio, you know, sports talk show yeah. radio, then it was like people blaming Jerry Scorsano. Hey, Eric Heidemann greedy. If Pirates lose this cup, Jerry Scorsano is the one to be playing. Because yeah. I didn't score, you know, but that didn't sit well with me. Until Monday, when we were supposed to go to training, I just absconded. Yeah, you know, because the end I was there. And on top of that, Pirates, when I came to Pirates, there was like the late Joe Frickleton. Yeah. You know, he adores me so much as a striker. And he was also sacked on that Monday, you know, in the morning. Yeah. And now we're like left with the assistant coach, the late... Uh, yes. So I, I, I was angry. Then I didn't go to training. Uh, Augusto Palacios was sent home to come check on me. And then I told him straight, say, ah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Wow. Hey, you know. And how do you feel at that time? Because you're getting this anger that the team at the time felt Jerry did not deliver. But then again, you walk in, there is this excitement to see you. How do you then feel from being angry, walking to a space where the team is just saying, Jerez, Ukona final. You know, that, that changed the whole mentality in me, you know, because I thought everybody was going to be angry. Everybody, everybody was going to say different stuff, you know, that were like negative to say maybe I thought I was a superstar, maybe, yeah. you know, all of these things. You know, the teammates when they start yeah. teasing you, but I was more than welcome. Where did you not train with the team? With the team on my Did you train by yourself? No. So, you, so, Jerez. The Apati Kenyan story, thank you. That's the so, whole truth. It, Okwatile, yes. Utale Lazi. Utale Lazi. Auti Musa Kwatile. I'm trained in Kwatile. We are Lazi. All I can even say is like on that Monday, you know, Malam Fodu Musa. Yeah. I do not have a car. See. I'm in thought. Yeah. I do not have a machita. You know, who pays them? A machita, they're not saying to you, Jerez, but you're not going to training. What's wrong with you? No, they knew, they knew because sometimes when you are a provider, my own team, you can't have a cool man. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you're pretty new. I'm sure you're so fire no good. You're the one buying, you know, for my list. Yeah, I mean, I'm crazy. I'm gonna list a machine, yeah, but they, they, yes, they would have that that thing, but man, they do not know at least the money get the name, but they were not, you are going to push it out. So you get into this flight, team excited, Jerry is there. Long trip, how many hours? I think it's five hours. Yeah, five hours uh, to Ivory Coast. Yeah, yeah, and you know, it was like a, 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 a long flight, 
because there was not much of excitement. Remember, we were more like doomed to say we've lost already. Yeah. That team drew with uh, Al Ahly one all in Egypt Correct. in the semi final first leg. And they walloped Al Ahly 5 1 in Ivory Coast. You know? So who were we when they drew with us 2 all and they were 2 0 down at one stage at, at home? So they already, already they, it, it, it was like getting into like a slaughter, slaughterhouse. Level. Yeah, but it was quite and long. You get to settle. What conversation do you start having building up to the game? I think for us, it was more of what we saw on the outside. Yeah. You know, because everything was painted yellow. You know, when we go to the, 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 the supper, you get the clothes like the black, is it the... Not black and white. No, no, dressy yellow, just, just everything, you know, call it like yellow and black. Yeah, you know, the colors of uh, a signal muscle. Yeah, we 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 never had a m much of discussion about what we're gonna be doing. Yeah, because remember, we lost a, an important figure in Innocent Nwamo who got the red card. Yeah, you know, when we were like in the first league. Yeah. So it was like, how are we gonna hold these people? You know, to us it was like we we just going to honor the future yeah. that we're supposed to go and play. The chairman was always there. You know, you you would see when we train, we would always be having a conversation with um Kandawere. I don't know what he was saying. Yeah. You know, but for, for us to see him there, you know, we, we 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 knew we had somebody who was who was strong enough. You know, so we felt like safe to be honest. Because every time we travel in the past, it would be like stone strong in the past. It was like a long trip from a turn to, yeah. to, to the field where we're going to play. So I think his presence, his presence, his presence meant, meant, meant a lot. First trip, game day. You walk through that tunnel, the game has started. What did you say to amongst yourselves as a friend? It's got so clear minds. How do you then psych yourself to say whatever that has happened, whatever doubt that we've had, we don't have a choice, we have to go into it? There was just a simple phrase. Yeah. Mark Fish, Kevin May, Eddie Mutale, Piri Tsoketi. Yeah. John Mueti. Yeah. Uh, Vincent Sokela. Yes. Those six, they said, uh, William Okpara, the yeah. goalkeeper. They said seven. Uh, I think it's uh, yeah. You might say I'm not yeah, to seven, it's five. <laughs> that said, yeah. said um, we keep the clean sheet. We're gonna try and make sure we stop these guys. Yes. You people do your job up front. Meaning you strikers. Helmet and Pelele, yes. uh, Brendan Silent, yes. myself, Mark Bachelor. Do the four of us. We must do something. That's a serious workforce. I'm telling you, you know. But it wasn't easy. Because we were denied the ball each and every time we wanted to do the attack. They just get the ball and then they like constantly, you know, going at us. So we never had even I, I can't even tell you. I can't remember the whole face up. You don't. I don't. The rest is history because I'm looking at this situation and saying you win that, the chairman was there, everybody was there, you come back. Now, someone that has won such a huge job, and, and I've always said to people, there are three people that have actually united the country. Yeah. Three players based on football. It's Mark Williams. I will add Phil, the late Phil Masinga. May his soul rest in peace. And I'll add you, because you, you actually, Phil Masinga got us to the 1998 World Cup. Mark Williams won us the 1996. Of course. Of course. And you won. Pirates and a South African team, the Champions League, the Cap Champions League, Jerry. You've won that. I'm a bonus. <laughs> I'm a bonus. You guys have won this major trophy. I only saw at a distance when you guys arrived at the airport, 
Yeah. I saw as well when the trophy had to be handed over to the champ at the Zedno Park, at the office is the Pirates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonuses of it. Tina Masin Peggy, you guys have won this major situation. And, 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 and I'm thinking, these guys are well off from here. You got bonuses. Yeah. Yes, we, we, we did get bonuses for that. No, yeah, according to your expectations, the way you are looking, I'm looking at you. But you got bonuses. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we it's a major achievement. It was, it was a major achievement, and we did get what was due to us based on what the club thought it was, it was sufficient. Sufficient for the yes. What does Jerry do with that money? Well, I was lucky because after that uh, Champions League win, uh, I had a call from the chairman again yeah. to say, uh, Jerry, remember, we signed a one-year contract that was every year renewable. Yeah. So the contract didn't have much on it because, you know, there were no agents. Correct. It's player and the chairman. Correct. A, a portal. Yeah. You know, and it is this long table, you know, the chairman that side. So I was lucky because come January 96, I had a meeting with the chairman. And what was true to me in terms of the contract, yeah. it was paid to me. And imagine from a four-roomed house yeah. that I was staying at, yeah. that was my grandmother's house, Correct. not even my mother's house. And I took the whole money, including the bonuses and also the bonus for the goal, for scoring the goal as an individual. There was a bonus as there well. There was a bonus as well for scoring the goal, as you know, on the side. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lennon McKenzie. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he glories at it, not exactly. scoring. But also it's with, all right. It's all right. I always say, Jerry was like, yeah, he scored, man. But credit must go to La Machita La Pemo. But yeah. William Okwara, William Okwara, that guy won us that trophy. Yeah. You know. I know. The avalanche of saved him. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. 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 yes, so I, 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 I took the money, you know, because I had people that were more wiser in terms of Say, do your savings. This yeah. is the best way to do. You do your, like, extend your house, make it a better house, you know, yeah. a better home. What's up with money? Money. Yeah. The, those better money choices that you've had to make. You've got this money. You know, your goal, Champions League, contract, you've got to make this better money choices. Yeah, I think the advice came to say, look, the only time you can invest your money to make sure that you look at it after, like you're going to be getting something after football, it's firstly look at your home. Yes. You know, do something with your home. And that didn't even make me think twice. Yeah. You know, just put the whole money into that project, you know, and... You can't believe, you know, it was like the cost of the house in terms of everything, the contract, like, say, okay, the house will just cost 110, you know, to start from scratch. I mean, that was a lot of money. Yes. That yes. was a lot of money. And I was proud yes. to put that money into the contract and to say, look, I don't want to have excuses. This is what I do now. I'm putting the money, I'm paying Yes. Before you could even start the job. So yeah. your job is to go and do like the the planning, yes, material, and then you build a house. I'm giving you everything. You know. Because when the house started to be built, it was uh, halfway of the season of ninety six. Yeah. And then lucky enough, I had to get to the Bafana Bafana. Yes. Now you know what happens when you there's incentive, there's more incentives as, 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 as well. Yeah, you know. So I had to change the plan, you know, to say no. That one was very big. Yes, I wanted to accommodate to have a better house, but now I'm going I'm bigger. bigger house. I'm going bigger. I'm going bigger now. Yeah. We need to add. You know, let's change the the the, the 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 plan. Yeah. In your case, you had made better money choices. Yes. Because. You looked after the house, it's bigger. 
it's nice and yeah must definitely take that definitely it did because remember in bed there was like a time where i was like mom mom there's no way you can always wake up now in the morning and go to work okay. i can manage now the whole household you yeah. know i can look after everybody yeah and the pride that i had with my mom she made sure that on my 21st birthday she went all out you know her last cent she was by the cake did it good i had just been to do like you know escape yeah escape i'm imagining tears for starting the escape oh uh, escape so you need money on petang to Uborn SK like in the cat, in the cat. Yeah. 21st birthday. 21st birthday. And then I had to go for a suit. Yeah. Yeah, man, the time. The only time I saw you wearing a suit is when you got married. But we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, for me, I, I always said my parents yeah. were supportive to me. Remember when I first signed my contract, yeah. professional contract yeah. with John Blackpool? Yeah. I was always traveling. I was still at school. Going to train at Russia, we we'll come back late yeah. at night. Dropped at the bridge, straight. I have to take a taxi to Tunisia. Yeah. Had to do the school work, and then early in the morning, rushing to school with two bags, school bag, and then it's a like a soccer kit bag because after school immediately I must rush to the taxis, drop back again, Russia. Will it was it was hectic, and my parents were supportive on that. So I thought like you know. This, Never buy myself a car. Yes, but most of the uh, earnings I have spent on my feeling, truly speaking. Did you have a bank account at the time? I I I I did get one. I did. I I, I had to because I wasn't gonna. Maybe you came up guy on a game. I was. It, yes, it was. <laughs> it's like you came up in the envelope. Did you have a bank account? It it it, it was in an envelope. And, and the pay in the envelope. Yes. You will buy you. What guy? In brown envelope. Envelope. Because there was a time the other money came when I was like with the national team. Yeah. Now I was like, you know, having a problem because when I go to sleep, I must like under the pillow. In you, you don't say you're Jared. talking about 45 grand under the pillow. You don't say I, I promise you, you know. I, in you, 45 in you, grand, 45 grand. grand under the pillow. When I'm going, I just load like the safe. At yeah, the hotel, yeah. put it in the safe and lock and have the key with me. But when I come back, remember, we share. You know, I don't trust because my co- my roommate is having a key as well for yeah. that safe. For that safe. So the only time I came to safe of my own for my money was to keep it with me under the bed. So you you sleep on that money. You got forty five thousand rands there. You so you come back with that money, and you have to go bank it. Yep. And my first bank was like PEM. You remember PEM Bank? No, I know because now I understand where the PEM has started to come from. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> that was my first. I understand that. Yeah. And 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 for me, the concept of saving was important. And you, you were saving now as 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 part of investment. Yeah. Because the key thing that you that you had improved the house. Yeah. You had the good space. You had a car for yourself. Uh, you, you you felt you had made better money choices yeah. because it was money from pirates than the national team as well. Yeah. yeah. Now, I need to break away a little bit because you and I need to talk about this conversation that we had. Good grand grand we are we case at Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Chiefs. Yeah. I'm a Chiefs. And then you played for pirates. Yeah. And you had Pirates players, whilst you, were a Chiefs, whilst you were a Chiefs fan, you had certain players that you liked at Pirates. I don't mind them, James. Let's name drop. Let's drop. Yes, yeah. let's name drop. Just, just, yeah. 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 just let's name drop. The first yeah. on top of the list, yeah. Eric Chipachow. The principal. Eric Chipachow. The, the one and le- only. The, the left footer. Chipachow. The left footer. This is a Chiefs fan that's talking. That, that's a Chiefs fan. Yeah. Yeah. As a young boy. Yeah. If they say Orlando Pirates is playing yeah. against another team. Yeah. I want to go and see that play. Chipacha. Yep. What is it about Chipacha that you like? I think the way he made football to look so simple. Yeah. 
I've never seen that guy do a sprint or fight, you know, like to win the ball and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know if maybe he was a magician. Yeah. Because every time the ball will drop to him, but where the ball is going to, there is trouble. Because every time he plays the ball to any teammate, there was enough time. There was like, you know, it, it, sometimes we used to call it like, he, he, he killed a pass. He killed him to the pass. The passing to him. The passing to him. I don't know, outside. But field, now, one would have field. thought Jerry, the striker, would have modeled this game around somebody else. And then you go, and your favorite player is Chikwacho. Yeah. And who else was there? A Webster City League with Chava? These are midfielders. Midfielders? I don't know They're why. never smiling. But City. maybe because I, I felt like as a striker, if I can have midfielders like this. That's a pass. Ah, ah, ah. They, they, they make sure like they, they, they look for you, even if you're hiding as a striker. Yeah. There's this pass, Leva Zuktola And that's what made me like those those players at Orlando Pirates. When you see, because you've mentioned a catalogue of friends, colleagues that went overseas, in the mind of a young man that leaves the country going overseas, whether it's China, you're expecting to get some more ching chings so that you can improve your life. You, you have your wife there, you say to yourself, this is my move, this is the late stage of my career. I want to make money so that I can come back and live happily ever after. Yeah. Did that happen? Unfortunately, it didn't happen. And this is where a lot of people wouldn't get the true story of why Jules Kosana had to come back. Yeah. I think that was the, re like the, the, the reason behind the whole yeah. uh, uh, absconding of, of, of China. It yeah. wasn't because I was a bad player or I had a bad behavior. Yeah. There was nothing of that sort. Yeah. The only thing is obviously if you leave your family behind, yeah. you know, you go to like unfamiliar territory, it's because of you wanna have a better life. There is something that is being put there for you to go and get. Yeah. But if you get there and then the promise is not fulfilled, yeah, and you are in a difficult area, a difficult yeah. space where yeah. it's not easy to live your own life. Yeah. You know, you are like in a different world altogether. And then you don't get what you were promised. It's always gonna be difficult for you to continue doing your duties. You know, even if you, 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 you're doing good for those people, but you as an individual, what is it that you, you get in return? Yeah. Because you were promised that for you to move to this, from point A to point B. Yes, the grass is greener on the other side. Definitely. Now, I was privileged to get an invitation to uh, a team base, a mum base, a Katsia Makas, you yeah. say. And uh, credit, I've never seen you wearing a suit, but that suit, too good for me. That must have come with some thought process. In terms of I'm deciding to have a wife, I'm going to have a family. A lot of things come into place. You build this house, better money choices that you've exercised. Now you're getting into a different institution where based on your journey, you would have accumulated some money. I don't want to ask you with your family, oh, <laughs> but I'm just talking yeah. responsibility and decision making yeah. and opening up to start saying, it's not Uche, Now you're going to declare that this is how much we have at home. How easy was it or how difficult was it? Well, it was a difficult, difficult uh, uh, experience, to be honest with you, at 20. If you remember very well, I had the planning of the wedding, I had the dates and everything, and I had to put aside what was gonna be the expenses of the wedding. And in that process, it was three months prior to my wedding, my father passed away, unplanned, you know. So now I had to go back now yeah. to say, I can't focus on the wedding and say, whatever that I've set aside for yeah. the wedding, I cannot go and take on that. Because the person that was supposed to be the one that was looking after this 
I said that I've put aside, yeah. passed on. Yeah. You know, so I had to go in there and make sure that I bury my father, you know, with, with, with dignity, you know, and that's what I did. Yeah. But uh, by God's grace, to be uh, 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 honest with you, uh, I had some other means that came and, you know, if yeah. you've walked your path and people have seen you walk that path and yeah. people give you the respect. Yeah. Of, of you seeing you as this uh, 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 individual that made the difference in life. Play a role in their lives. Play a role in their lives. They always want to come and have you maybe to be like their spokesperson, yes. you know, motivational yeah. speaker for them, yeah. you know, yeah. to have something. And I was lucky because I had those, because I was no longer playing football. Yeah. And I had to fulfill what I've already disturbed. In yeah. terms of the assets that I've put for my marriage, that I've used for my father. Yeah. So I had to get something out of yeah. that, you know, and I continued. And that's when you got the invitation to come. And the most important part about it, it was not in my house because I had a house then. I had a house in town. Yes. But because I was like a street person, you know, in Tona Sekas. Altia They wanted in to have this in that house because. I always say the house that I built first, that's my house. Yeah. You know, that's my grandmother's house. That's the house the way maybe like in my first day when I was a baby, yeah. I was taken to. That's your comfort. You know, so I wanted to make sure that my wedding was not in my house. I wanted to do it there, a castle. And for the people, like, okay, it's bubble, like, yeah. responsibility and choices that you made when you, you've got something, you know, yeah. because getting married, it's part of a, a, a money management, you yeah. know, because the person that you take to be your spouse, yeah. you know, you we build a, a, a house together, but that person makes that house into a home. Yeah. You know, because this is my pride now. Yeah. You know, to say I'm seated here, I'm proud that I've got a warm home. Yeah. I don't walk into house, a good space. You know, I've got my home in Tembisa, I've got my home again. Because of the woman that I, may, I got married to, and I'm just grateful because those all of those things don't just come because uh, decision making in, in 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 your financial Matter. matters, you know, it's it's what you 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 put together and save to make sure that in your life you have the progress. You know, I'm talking to you, and I'm thinking there's a path. That has been scripted because part of you owns a football club. Yeah. I've been to the Philly Stadiums and I know you, you, you've coached there and that. And I just get the impression that you've seen the sacrifices of the team owners being at the Pirates, being at the Giant Lake Pool, the Mahot Manima sacrifice that you were to raise kids like yourself and myself. Yeah. And you felt the need as well to be part of that game, to try and guide those youngsters because you, I think that it was about pandemic. You've got to ask those that have traversed that have walked that path yeah. in terms of the experiences. Take me through briefly about the team that you have and how you acquired it and the value that you're adding to those youngsters, youngsters as they grow. Um, as you know, uh, uh, I work with like a uh, blue pets yeah. and uh, uh, I was lucky because a lot of activities, activations that I had to do were more based on the people that would cherish or like be happy yeah. to see a person like me. And they were always looking at that, you know, when people come and say, we know what this person can do. We've seen when he was a coach, you know, the likes of Temba Zwane, Tiko Modise, Panch Masinamela, uh, Gifty Sitole used to be the captain at the Pl at Platinum Stars, you know, Lizom Jempu, Myron Shongwe, for that matter, Myron Shongwe came to me at Peters Petersburg Pillars as a goalkeeper, but I turned him into a striker. He went on to play for Amazulu. I like how you're flossing, you know, so I stay with that. I think I call him Leto Komodise, Lomelu Kulubara, Ubiyaragi. 
Tabo Matava, who we are like you. Tabo Matava, that you're talking about, who we are like you. Yes, hence. That's the contribution yes, they exactly. make. So, with that, you know, because when we are doing the activations, yeah. people will come and say, Yo, my kid is a better player. Can we do something? Yeah. And I would be like, Unfortunately, I don't have a club. Yeah. You know, but they saw that. And then they said, Look, we know what the passion in you in terms of development. Yeah. Would give you the CSI a, a, a project. Yeah. And they give you a certain amount of money for five years. Yeah. And then we want you to buy your own club. You know, that will be funded by uh, Hollywood Pets. Yeah. And this is exactly what happened because I bought a club in the APC Motor Delic, Houten Stream. Yeah. And unfortunately, in my first season, I nearly got relegated. Yeah. I survived. And the second season, I was not a fan until the last two games yeah. where I was just like, you know, pent. With one point, yeah, just one point. But nevertheless, I, I've learned, you know, how to make sure that you keep the momentum going. And also, I'm happy that I've got certain players in this team that have been earmarked to go and try with a, a, a PSL teams because they've been seen in my team because everybody wants to come and watch Hollywood Thunder. You know the the, the the owner is thunder, the club yeah. is thunder. Let's see. The thunder, yeah. yeah. Maybe there are other teams one less people and they, come and they are there. They are there. You and I know the environment. The youngsters they can start getting money, and so I let them and say to the guy, "I'm the boss," and I'm saying you and I have a responsibility through NetBank to open up the discussion between these young men that you are actually putting money into their account to say. They need to be able to be involved in terms of the financial affairs of the child. Because you and I would know that a child that begins to get money and with the amount of ignorance that might creep in tends to, 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 to attract negative people around you. Negative people that will start getting you to do things that get you to offer them in terms of your career. Would that be something that you started looking into? Because you and I come from a generation that has seen your Asian children was doing well. We still have to fit in as well and try and make a name for ourselves. And then you have a generation that you see some of them doing well, some of them falling by the wayside. Have you started that sort of engagement? I've, I've, I've already started. I, I, I make sure each and every time players get paid, there is somebody within the family that I speak to. Yeah. Because it's not on, it's 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 mostly young players that are getting paid through that, and some of them they've made the payment to be more on the father or the mother Correct. at home. Yeah, you know, because he's still young enough. I mean, I've got a, 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 a sixteen-year-old yeah. that is still at school. Yeah, you know, and now if he makes that a, a bank account. Obviously, the bank account, I would say that's his bank account because I'm paying him. But basically, the, ma the money the mom, is the parent. based on the parents. Yeah. And I would always ask if did the money go through, you know, because the kid needs to come and play. And the parents is the first priority in my club that I always get engaged to. And to the senior players, I think for them, I always sit down with them. Yeah. Because obviously, they own their own accounts, yeah. you know. But I always make sure whatever that they do, it's more of a father figure, a guidance. I always tell them to say, you look at me standing here now. I don't wake up at six or seven to go to work because of the respect of this football that gave me everything that I am now. I'm boasting because everything that I've said and everything that I've done, it's what is paying me back now. And now, for you people to be more of me, this is the way to go, you know. Because you'll have a soccer player that is not familiar with corporate industry. A football player. You know, in our generation, even my generation of, of late, how many that I get to meet on the street that is, have splashed their monies and they were not 
that popular with the, with, 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 with the community and also the respect of the path that you walk in. Yeah. If you don't respect yeah. that path, remember, it's going to have a cul-de-sac and it's not going to open for you to go forward. And this is always what I give names to my players to say, look at this player. This player had it all. This player was the best footballer. But let's look at this player now. I don't want to see you being this player. Yeah. Look at this person that is standing next to you. Yeah. This used to be the best striker. Played for great teams. Played for national team. He went to China. But he's still in football. And he's still doing what he loves doing. Best because all these areas of football needs to be respected. Monies that you accumulate yeah. in those areas of football yeah. needs to be saved. You know, because that's where the, 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 the respect of the community comes to. Correct. You know, because you wouldn't be, I wouldn't be seated here if I was this person that didn't know where he wants to go Correct. in terms of life. Yeah. I chose life that I thought would be suitable for me into a certain area. And, and by God's grace, I hope maybe I just reach 100 being, you know, happy to see my kids grow and grandchildren, great grandchildren. But yeah. Choices that you make in life are those that will take you far. Jerez, you know, I'm, I'm listening to you and I'm fascinated by the story that you're telling, but I'm also looking at the actual of it. They were played in so many teams. Mm. But you know, Ilamu is just look shit. You know, the Kasi way. I don't, you, you should list these things, but I want you to boast about the type of players that you were exposed to yourself in the various clubs that you played for, and maybe in national teams as well. Hey man, you know, this is who I played with. For people that have never seen you, Teresa, play football. No, no. I don't know where to start, but... I say which I played. The thing about, yeah, I mean, I got it from which I played for. Yeah. Because which I played for is Kuluma, Namachita, maybe Sese, OK League. Yeah. I still remember OK League. Yeah, yeah. It's the great Africa of PSN today. Yes. Yeah. So, Lava, Namachita. I was an understudy. I'm a cheetah serious. I'm a cheetah serious. Yeah. You'll have the late shoes, Michel. Ah, the face. Katul. The elegance. No man. CSI. Talking to football. Talking yeah. with football. like you. Making that football. No man, look easy. Yeah. Then you had Fanny Madiba. The days are the days. Take the days are chiefs. You know, he was loaned from... He's achieved to play cool. Yeah. Then you have the speedy hill boy, Koma Koma Masa. Koma Koma Masa. Uh, nah. You get these three, where are you going to play? And there is this Cheris Kosan, the young, young, young Cheris Kosan. Yeah. Who was favored by this coach, the late Eddie Lewis, and also the late Sandy Lepan. You still remember? I know about Sandy. I, you know, I was fortunate in that team. Eh? Yeah. And you come again, you look at the midfielder, uh, there was like a John Muloy. Not John Muwetti. Yeah. John Muloy, so short. Like, yeah, I'm John Muzina. Ah, uh, was it born? We had about Churi Van Duan. Churi Van Duan. We had like uh, Charles Lowe. Yes. A defender. And then there was like uh, Utaka in the tag. Ah, uh, that's hardcore. The park. That's hardcore. You know. It, 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 you know, I, I'm listening to these players and I'm thinking, these are hardcore players. That's talent. Ish. That's raw talent. Ish. Now, now, I'm a Zulu buffet. Both I'm Zulu, I'm on Simon Makaku. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I was still here in Poland, Poland, Ghana there. Yes. Uh, Pirito Tetsi also joined Amazulu. Yeah. And there, there were a whole lot of guys that, that were there, which I, 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 I'm just missing the names now. That's fine. To, but to be honest. I, I want to know that, because that's the cream that you're talking about. Yeah. But I also want to know ACs. Ah. My man, Seka. Lapo, I'm, I will tell you, I'm, I'm under the I'm under the cage. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got the late chairman Vili Matlamo himself. Matla. Has a cause. Yeah. Then Uzo Tolu show to Munyunga and a papambi, Joan is she. I still remember. I still remember. In the Vila Cage. Joan is she. Page Matla. Mr. Tembisa himself. You teach it. Adam Vula Vala Mabena. Yes. Pesima Thousand. Yes. Of course, Jerez Kosan. 
Dumisani Ngobe. Spitty Pete. You know, I like young Spitty Pete at Aces. I like the way you say this. And I'll see you when I'm up. Oh, you need know, long. <laughs> Ula, you're not as far. You mentioned people when I was fine. I was fine, but when I was fine. 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 I was you know, because I learned a lot from these three mosquitoes. You, you talk about learning. Yeah. And I'm thinking, there's this club called the Royal Pirates that you played for. Massive club. Yeah. There's big names that played before you. The big names that were there in your time. Too. I need you to just propose that. I As figure out, I when I say, tell us about those players. And, and, and for that matter, maybe we can only see the price, you know. We can only see. You know, you play for pirates. That's not just a club. It's a way of life. It's an institution. Yeah. You get in there, Udom, Uma's next. Yeah. You go out of there after we meet the retirement league. When you meet the champion. Ah. Just the institution itself. Okay. Makes you a better person in life. I'm saying people that. Strong in life. People that played for that club yeah. at the moment, now, presently, that are no longer playing, and they Brand came names. without nicknames yeah. at Orlando Pirates. Yeah. They got all the names there. I came there as Jerez Cosana from Woodbank Aces. Yeah. Then I had to be Legs of Thunder, then they go to Pirates. Yeah. There was like Hellman and Kalele from Jomo Cosmos. Yeah. Then you had a Midnight Express yes. from Orlando Pirates. Orlando Pirates. You had Brendan Silent who came all the way from Northwest. Yes. Then you had Brendan Stepezana. Stepezana. Where do you get that nickname? You have to get it. You had Dumisani Ngobe. Came from Aces now. He comes to Pirate. To those pretty bit. Yeah. We are not You've got to Gerard Rapatle. Who's going to pull you? Yeah. The defender, the guru of us. Oh, who's Gerard Rapatle? Now I'm going to Pirate. So Uba. So um kaba. That's the boost thing that I'm telling you about. Because you get to pirate as a nobody, just a prime value, a, like you saw a prime prime, prime mate. You get a point. But more for more pirate. Prime 2020. 2020. Eh? 2020. 2020. Where do you get that? I, I mean, that's why I say this is another element that we're missing of late. Yeah. Because those names, you wanted to live by your nickname. You wanted to keep that name because when they say 2020, uh uh, there is no striker that must pass. Because if you let the striker go, you lose that dignity. So that's why I say institution that. Team. I like the way you're reasoning all of these names and the rationale behind that. Because what you're talking about is how you, based on the people that you meet, they've helped you to grow as a person. Yeah. You humble yourself to say, listen, I am Jerish Kosan, but there are people that are around me that have made me who I am. There are people that are going to be consuming this conversation that you and I are having. Yeah. And I want us to talk to those people because I want us to trigger these conversations amongst colleagues, amongst friends, amongst families, amongst youngsters that want to travel on the institution of marriage, you know, the, 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 the family values that carries you because you emphasize the importance of maintaining that brand, Jerry's Corsana, that gets to be recognized wherever that you go. I want you to talk to those people because the aim of this conversation is to encourage people to make better money choices, but also to become better people and make better choices and then be engaging in this subject that we always scared of to engage so that we can grow us. I want you to talk to those people. First of all, Brian, I would say um, the self-esteem is the most important part of the human being. Because if you don't believe in yourself, there's nothing that will come out. People won't see your contribution in the society. And also for you to learn, you need to look at the next person that is more motivational to you, what is this person doing? You need to follow 
what the, good, the other person is doing so that you can adopt it and make sure that you kind it inside you. And when you take it out to the next person that you're going to be meeting, it's something that is, is got value on it in terms of life. You know, it's more of if you look at somebody who's earned a lot of money, and then down the line, two months down the line, that person is thriving. You don't want to associate yourself with that person. But you will look at the person that had nothing, you know, but because of his uh, uh, being, being, being generous to the whole uh, uh, world in terms of how he wants to live. And then you see this person growing and growing from the little that he's earning or making out of a living, you know. So you always want to associate yourself with people like that to make sure that if somebody utters a way, it's a way that will bring something into your ear. Unlike somebody who will talk to you, but it just gets in here and then it goes out on the other uh, ear because it doesn't have that value because you're not looking upon that person. So if you meet people like Jeris Kosana, who's always out there, you know, we talk about my career when I started from school yeah. and also mixing a, a, a academic studies and football. Yeah. And seated here now talking to the man himself, you know, to say, I'm here, I'm looking 30 years back when I had nothing. Yeah. But the little that I had to get from Giant Blackpool, the little that I had to get from ACES, the little that I managed to make it all on the Pirates. This is who I am today because of the respect and the choices that I made in the public. And these are the people that you want to associate yourself with so that you can see not only you, but the other generation that is coming behind you to make sure that they walk this path that you've paved for them, that you're showing them that this is the path of what you need to follow this path. I think that is mostly important in life because you don't have to be selfish. You need to take it out and give whatever that you had for you to have this life that you're having today, even though we're getting older. But you, the more you get older, the more you get wiser. And these are the ways that I want to give to the generation that is to come. And I'm glad because I've got an institution that I have in the club that has got all these young stars yeah. that I'm always have the opportunity to guide them and teach them, especially money savings, where they need to invest their money and how to invest their money. Because you get people that get advice to invest. If somebody wants to go and buy a car, that's not an investment. Yeah. You, know, you need to buy a property. Yeah. Something that down the years you will fall back to that will generate something for you to live. So I think the generation of today that we've lost good and quality players, all of them, it's the mistake that they've done because they start earning a lot of money and then somebody without the experience of driving a fancy car go and buy a car that is worth millions of rents. Yeah. And down six months down the line, we've lost that person because he couldn't control the car. But if you take that money and put it in the house, the house will take you to 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 your grave, but it will give you warmth. Yeah. Then it will give you shelter. And also to your kids. You know. So that's basically what I'm putting to the people to say, invest in a proper way. Invest where you're gonna get something in return. I wanted to talk to parents with kids because you would probably have gone through that situation where your child says to you, I you have to pay 3,000 rand. You know, we want to post using our kids to say, I'm going to buy my child this type of thing. You know, the kids tend to build the sense of entitlement. And I've shared this before, and I'm going to share it with you, and I would want us to perhaps have us to listen to it, to say, there are three boys at home that I have. They're all on the payroll based on the chores that they have to do. There is no, I don't have money for this. I don't have money for this. Can you give me that money? They all have to be paid at the end of the month based on what they 
have worked for. It's a choice that they have to do at home. They have to give me a report of what they've done. And I've sold that concept to say, in the world that we live in today, you and I are exposed to that type of mentality of kids who are doing self as entitlement. And parents being parents. And they tend to go for that. I want to have your thought on that because I've created that concept and I think so far it has instilled a bit of financial wiseness out of those points. And I thought I should share it with you and hear your view on that. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful because I've got uh, two boys and one girl, but I cannot say boy and girl because the other, the other two that have got their own kids, as I say, I'm a grandfather yeah. now, you know. I'm, I was lucky because they they grew up under me in terms of whatever that I give to them, they must be like an end product with what they do. And I'm glad that they are now like elders, both of them. But now I've got the other one that is the middle, where there are a lot of misunderstanding, you know, because now the father has got this money, the father is earning. The father owns the club, the father this, they are like things that are happening. But I've got the CEO of the house who's taking care of it yeah. because I've got a lot in me because she knows I'm no longer there baby now. I'm no longer there. Uh, uh, how can I put it? I think their responsibility. And it is their responsibility. And if, like most of the family matters, you know, this. Small items in the house. When I house. have the executive chairman, yeah, but I, I I have to look at the outside yeah. world because I've done enough for them to be where we are. Yeah. So got now, to fly at some point. You, you know, so now the CEO needs to look after the small one because now I've got another thirty of those ones that I've signed in my club that I must look after on the outside. But nevertheless, I think that's be fine concept, for you. Right? It, 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 it is. It is. It is, it is. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the, 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 the journey that uh, I've taken and thanks to, to the company, you know, that uh, they gave me that opportunity because, you know, I'm, I'm a footballer and as I've said to you, I've produced a lot of players without anything, but because of the passion and trying to get people to understand where I come from and taking them to that opportunity to 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 end something. And I'm happy today. You are seated with Tiko here. I gave him that opportunity. Temba Zwane, as I've mentioned, you know, Tabu Maklava, they all had to follow what I told them. And I'm grateful because they did. And they are quality players now. They own their houses. They always come to my house as well and say, thank you very much, you know, because you, you, you gave us the right platform and then you showed us the right path to walk to and now we post like yourself and we hope we hope that maybe when we reach your age as you are now without being in the corporate you know just to go and work because I'm a footballer they will still be involved in football even after they've stopped playing and this is what is happening with Tico now you know he stopped playing but he's more involved with football and that's what you want to see you know whatever that you do Brian you want to see the end product and I'm proud to say I've, I've seen that, but I'm still willing. I still have the energy to make more because I'm still there. I still have that passion to make sure that other kids also get the opportunity in terms of me plowing back to the society. Jared, this is not the end of this conversation, but the beginning of the conversation because this, is, has, to, this has to go on. We've just triggered this conversation. Life journeys that we've we, 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 we walked on. Yeah. Tough as it is, we've managed to come through out of that. We've inspired a whole lot of people. You've inspired me because of, I've been watching you all the time. And I still continue to look at your work and I'm inspired by what you do. And, and you inspired me, by the way, because your tournaments when you stop playing, I always planned around you. But unfortunately, I had to play against the other guys that were taller than me. And those guys from Ivory Coast were more of your. State you know, big as you are, but yeah, thanks for that because <laughs> I always watched you play. The influence is coming. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, thank you very much. I really appreciate <laughs> what you did this time. This conversation must go. <laughs> thank you very much. I really appreciate everything. The conversation was great. It's been an honor. Thank you. Thank you very much.